<laughs> Let's see. What will I learn about today? Um. Farming. That's easy. <laughs> I'll just plant some seeds and grow. Grow. Please grow. <laughs> grow, grow. <sighs> hey, Geo friend. What's wrong, Cosmo? I, I tried farming, but nothing grew. <laughs> I'm a failure. Maybe I can help. I went to Mars, planted some seeds, and waited, but it didn't work. But Cosmo, you can't grow plants on Mars. But, but Mars and Earth are almost the same. They both have dirt and sunlight and water. I don't understand. Mars and Earth are similar in some ways, but Mars doesn't have the right conditions for farming. Hmm, I wonder if we could farm on Mars. Oh, yeah. Run simulation. <laughs> plants need space for their roots and leaves to spread out. When plants are crowded, they compete for water and sunlight, and this can make them less healthy. If humans were to farm on Mars, there would be plenty of space. On Earth, the average temperature is 14 degrees. But here on Mars, the average temperature is minus 46 degrees. This is because Mars is 100 million kilometers further away from the warmth of the sun. If humans were to farm on Mars, you would need to build greenhouses to keep the plants warm. Since Mars is further from the sun, the sun shines with only 44% of the brightness you experience on Earth. This would reduce a plant's ability to do photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process where plants convert sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into sugar. If humans were to farm on Mars, you would need special light bulbs to give the plants enough light. Plants need an atmosphere that contains carbon dioxide. During photosynthesis, plants use the carbon dioxide and water molecules to build sugar molecules. Luckily, Mars's atmosphere contains enough carbon dioxide. But since the atmosphere is so cold, humans would need greenhouses to warm up Mars's air. Soil is made of mineral matter like sand and clay, water and organic matter. Organic matter is made by living things like earthworms and bacteria breaking down dead plants and animals. This process adds nutrients to the soil. Organic matter also allows the soil to hold water. But Martian dirt has no organic matter. To turn Martian dirt into Martian soil, humans would need to add fertilizer and compost. Plant roots can only absorb nutrients that are dissolved in water. Water is also an essential ingredient in photosynthesis. Mars does have water, but it's frozen in salty ice. This means that water would either need to be brought from Earth, or the Martian ice water would need to be purified before it could be used. Phew. It seems like being a Martian farmer is possible, but it would take a lot of work. Humans always wanted to go to Mars, but we would need to have farms on Mars to survive. Scientists have discovered that we can grow nine crops on Mars, including radishes and tomatoes. Maybe one day I will help you start your Martian farm, Cosmo. Bye! Huh, yeah, that would be fun. Bye! Hmm, which chapter should I read next? Cosmo! Hey everyone, Cosmo here! 
In order to grow plants on Mars, we will need to build special greenhouses. What if you built your own mini greenhouse here on Earth? Step one, find an adult. Step two, gather your supplies. You'll need a clean plastic bottle, scissors, soil, and plant seeds. Step three, use the scissors to poke a few holes in the bottom of the plastic bottle. Step four, cut the bottle in half. Step five, fill the bottom of the bottle with soil and plant your seeds. Water the seeds and replace the top of the bottle. Step six, put the bottle in a warm area. Once the seeds sprout, move the greenhouse somewhere sunny, like a windowsill. Step seven, add water when the soil feels dry. Step eight, once the seedlings grow to the height of the lid, take off the lid. When the seedlings are fully grown, plant them outside. Happy experimenting, and I'll see you next time on What If Kids. Goodbye!